Hey, hello, welcome. Thank you so much for watching this video. In this video, we are going to learn about creating the dynamic combo box. We are going to use combo and in the combo box, we will provide the value dynamically coming from the business object. If you remember, we created separate videos where we learn how we can use dynamic bo uh, combo box and with the static data. But this time we will learn how to create combo box with dynamic data. And yes, in this video also, you will learn that how we can display the data in tabular based on the table based on the combo box value. So that if you will see on the screen, so we are going to create page in this such a way that in the combo box user will select the employee code and whatever employee code user will select based on that employee code, the table having the employee specific employee details. So that kind of things we are going to implement. So let's begin to the visual builder. So now here you can see previously we have created this page where we learn how to create the employee form. Now what we are going to do is that we are going to create a new web application. So here you can see this is the table app. This is uh, the first web app. Now we are going to create another web app. So I will click here and will give the name. So I am just going to give the name as uh, table app 2 and click create. So now you can see table app 2 created here. And as I, I have various time I discussed that for one application that visual builder application can have multiple web application and each and every web application can, can have multiple web pages. Right. So now we have created one tab application that is table app and now it's time to go to the main and here you can see by default we are getting one page. Right. Let me close the previous page. Right. So this is our main page, right? Main page for new application. Now here we have to design all these things. So let me first remove all the design, whatever we have in this, in the design. So just click here and now go to the code and remove all the code. So uh, once you will go to the design again, you will see that the, the body part is empty now and here we have to drag all the things. So first I will drag the component as header so that we can display the message. And header I will provide and a value I will give as Select the header and here I will give this employee employee details form. Now let me make it a little bit small. So select that one and go for H5. It's H4, H5, whatever you can suggest, you can go for that. Now here our we added the heading. Now we here we have to add the combo box. So before going to add combo box, I want to add the form layout so that we can make all these things in a good way. Form layout. And here form layout as whatever element we will drag that can be the combo box or on anything we have to move that the name or label outside that box right. So here let me drop first the if you will go for one right here if I will search one you can see we have the combo box one even we have button set one and the different one so I will go for combo box one drag here. Now you can see the value combo box one name. If you will change, go to the general and here if instead of combo box, if I will select employee code. So here you can see the label is inside this combo box. I want to make it outside. So as we have already added the form layout. So click on the form layout and here you can see we have age. Right. Let me make it with a small. And here you can see we have the age. So go to age and select the start. So you can see the text label will come outside. Right. And now here after that, we have to add the table so that based on this, it will reflect the data. So before going to add table, let me show you that first detail data in the combo box. How we can show the data in combo box, select the combo box, go to the quick. You can see the combo box one, go to the quick start. And here you can see previously, if you remember last time we created combo box with the aesthetic data. Now it's time to create the combo box with dynamic data and the data will be employee code coming from the business object. So select the combo box and click on add option. Once you will click on the add option, it will list you all the business object and all the sources for the combo box. So as we have only one business object, so let me select this employee business object and go to next. And here, what are columns you want to show? So here you can see the label and the value. Label will be the one which will display. So here you can see E002. This is the label and behind this E022, what will be the code or what will be the key values? So that will be the value. So I will select label as employee code and the value as ID. So whatever employee code user will select based on that employee code ID will be reflected. And the placeholder 
place order we have to give the name so place order means that each zero zero to it's select lift selecting here right when we select if we not select what value it should reflect so it should reflect that employee code instead of that let me select use select employee code now go and click on next here you can see as i told you that whatever whenever we are performing operations with the business object we have the endpoint url based on that endpoint only we are performing so now here this combo box right the combo box we are mapping with the data and the data we have in the business object so for getting data from business object and listing here we have the endpoint call so here you can see get all employee bo this get all employee bo will be called and whatever employee will store will be having this in business object all will be listed and for all each and every employee we are going to show that two columns only the one column that is employee codes go to finish and done here you can see we are done with that if we will run the application this combo box will having the employee code from the database so if you will go to the business object and here in the employee business object if we will go to the data here we can see we have two records the employee code is 001 is 02 right so let me show you the same so once we will run this application let me hide this one so that it will be look like good and now here you can see the page is loading now you can see employee details page open and here we have employee code and this is the select prompt we added select employee code once you will click here you can see the two employee code whatever you ever present in the business object is listed here so now we can select any one now our task is to whatever employee code we will select based on that employee code the table should be reflect so now we have to add the table right so here you can see table and if we will drag this table here now for this table we have to map the business object for which object we will get the data so go to the add data in the quick set start select the business object next and here we have to select all the columns we want to display so we want to display employee code employee name age email and department all these values now go next and finish so here you can see when we done go next finish it's the phrase reflecting the data and here if you will run this table you can see we are able to get the data without even selecting why because because we map this table with the data now we have to restrict this table data so that it will reflect only data when we will select this one right so here we have to add the logic now friend here you can see whenever we are adding the data with the table data automatically reflecting here and one more thing if you will figure out whenever we are adding the table and mapping the business object with the table variable automatically created why created because this table is mapped with that variable so if you will go to the data here you will be able to see the variable so in this table from where data is coming so data is coming from a variable and which is the variable you can see the variables dot employee bo list sdp2 so if you will go to the variable here you can see employee bo list sdp2 SDP is available this employee bo list sdp first is for the first application if you remember here this is the application here also we added the table right so this table so the table the yeah, this table is linked with that the pre, the first one if you will go to the variable and here you get to the data here you can see bo list sdp service data provider so now for each and every page if we are dragging and we are adding the table and we are mapping the table with the business object automatically variable created for the sdp service data provider i will explain sdp later for each and every point but later on just for practice purpose just for learning purpose understand about that so here you can see this table is linked with that variable that is sdp2 so go to the variable now we want whenever the page will load or starting of the the data we will have the validation so go to the variable go to the sdp second sdp and here you can see all the endpoints and all the data if you get if you will see here you can see this is the get all employee so when we were about to map this this with the quick start table you will be able to see that right we have we were having that one that field that the get all employee details now here we have to add the filter 
at the filter so that it cannot display any data so go to the filter criteria here click here and here we have to add the condition we have to add the false condition so that that condition will be false every time so that it will not display data in a started right so here you can see we click on the filter criteria and in the filter criteria here you can see we have the we have to write the logic so add click on add filter criteria and here when we are going to add the filter criteria we can add filter criteria based on anything so let me add the filter criteria based on id only so right now i will select id is equals to minus one so we know that id never be minus one right so when the poise the table data will be loaded it will check and the condition will be false and it will not show any data right so here you can see this is the id this is the id of the filter criteria and filter criteria when we are saying that filter criteria means that id of this the sdp employee bo list sdp2 right employee bo list sdp2 dot filter criteria dot value is equals to minus one and here if you will go to the code you will be able to see the same here you can see the value is equals to minus one and when we want to display the data we will replace this minus win with the id right so here we are done with the condition click save once you will go to the page again this time you will not be able to see the data if i will load the page you can see the data will be removed from the table because the condition is false when they are checking they are calling the endpoint for this serviced uh, business object getting data and once adding the filter there is no any employee id exists with minus one code that's why here you can see we don't have data even we have selected here and that is not reflected now we have to add the logic whenever user will select any value in the lov the the combo box that the id of this value should be replaced with the filter criteria so now what we how we can do so here go to the so now what is event here we have event as selection of the value in the combo box so here you can select the combo box go to the event and here we have to create the event once you will click on the event event name is value value event it means that whenever user will select any value here this event will occur so select the event based on that event it automatically created the action chain so even you can change the action chain name or you can let it use be the same so here you can see parameters as value this value is the value of the selected value so here if you will see if you will select here any value e001 so this parameter will having the code the id of this e001 as while adding this combo box we added that one right added the name and the value value as the id of this row so here once we selected e001 if you will go to the business object the e001 this is displaying in the combo box and based on this e001 this id will reflect backend and in the backend we have variable you can see the value parameters value this is the same value we are passing to the action chain here so now here this value we have to map with the filter criteria of sdp so we know that our filter criteria name right so for assigning this value to the filter criteria values we have to use assign variables so now here we drag the assign variable select the assign, assign variable action now here we have to select the variable in which variable we have to assign the value so if you will go to the variable here this is our variable and this variable having the filter criteria if you will open this filter criteria now when user will select the value on that action chain we have to replace this filter criteria if you will go to the code the value is let me show you the so the actual criteria is business object yeah you can see employee business object sdp2 dot filter criteria dot value equals to here we have to instead of minus one we have to replace the things actual value and actual value we are getting from the from the parameters so now here go to the action chain and here we will select the variable so the variable we have to select that one sdp and here you can see this is the first sdp this is the first sdp for the first application now we can have to go for second sdp and somewhere yeah you can see this is the second sdp this sdp dot filter criteria so we have to check the filter criteria so here you can say sdp dot this one filter criteria right and dot we have to go for value right the filter criterion dot value we will having somewhere so here you can see the value so we selected the variable employee business object list sdp2 dot filter criteria 
criterions dot value and here we have to provide the value so what value we will provide we will provide the value coming from the parameters if you go to the expression builder this is the value so we'll drag here now save now on the business on the event right in action chain we assign the filter criteria we updated the filter criteria right so now go to the page designer again so what will happen now whatever value user will select from here based on that value the id will be passed as a parameters to the action chain and that action chain will update the filter criteria of this table this as this table data having the stg service data provider value now if we will run this application we will be able to see the same so now here you can see when the page is loaded right when page is loaded the filter criteria of this table we added as minus one right here you can see the variable sdp2 filter criteria val value as minus one and we don't have any data with the id minus one right you can see that's why we don't have any data here now whenever user will click here Whenever user will click here, you can see these two values are reflecting here. Whatever value user will select, ID for this value will be passed to the action chain. Here you can see if you will go to the page and the page designer, whatever value user will select based on this event, you can see the value event. This value will be passed to this action chain. And this action chain, here we are updating the filter criteria for this SDP2. And here you can see filter criteria dot value is equals to value. And this is the value we are getting for this the employee code so if you will select the employee code 2 you can see the data is reflecting for e002 so now this is the simple web application where we learn about the the combo box with the dynamic data and the table data loading based on the dependent table data loading or table data based on the lov now in next video we will learn how we can create dependent lov or dependent combo box so here in next video we will create one more combo box that combo box will having the department so first user will select the department and based on the department it will show all the employee code and then based on the employee code the data will be reflected here right so now let's begin and we'll show the next in next video thank you so much for watching if you have any other queries and you want to ask anything any suggestion you are welcome to write commenter thank you so much again for watching